There is now a growing body of evidence demonstrating that participation in the arts and access to a range of arts opportunities can dramatically improve health outcomes and increase well-being. Emerge Outreach one-to-one -one programs are rooted in community inclusion, personal creativity, health, fitness and well-being, helping assist our clients to live their most vibrant and fulfilled life. very happy and excited when I got the call from Donna to do the family tree. It was like a golden opportunity had landed in my lap. I was always going to do this with our mother but unfortunately she passed away before I had a chance to get going on the family tree. I was very happy and excited to do this. Now come with us as I take you on a magical journey into the world of our ancestors. I found things out I never knew until I took this this opportunity to discover my past. I started my project by looking for photos in the attic, anything that would give me a clue about our ancestors. I couldn't believe what I found there were photos of the whole family, photos of Blue House Farm, my grandmother Becky on the stage, some of my dad's parents, some photos we had yet to identify. When was your granddad in the Home Guard? During the war. Mm -hmm. Did he tell you any stories about it or anything like that? No, we didn't even know until um, after he passed away, my mother found a medal and then she knew that Grandad had been in the home car. It was getting very quietly, quietly. Because mm. the, the, they didn't want any of the Germans to know. When Brenda went to someone's house to do the, um, what's it, practicing, the home guard routine, like Dad's army on TV, and the guard shed clapped and he thought nobody was at <laughs> The next stage in my research to explore was the local libraries. Using local history books and antique maps of the local area, I identified family sites and locations, comparing them to nowadays. The reason why we took this trip to Pitsy is where everything started with Great Grandfather, the Blue House Farm, Howard Series, everything to do with the whole family. And then we looked round and saw my great grandfather's buildings that, that he created. I never knew my grand, great grandfather and grandfather were architects until I started this trip. So, Julie, this is your great grandfather's memorial that he built. Oh, that song is. Let's go and have a look. <laughs> The war memorial in the park was also donated by Mr. Howard, originally at the junction of Station Lane and London Road, 1922, but was moved to its current location in 1968. My great-grandfather H.G. Howard lived at Blue House Farm and was buried at St. Margaret's Church, Bower Gifford. I walked down a long road to the church in the middle of the fields to see where Grandfather was buried.
Family grave. I used the internet for research and created the Howard family tree from my great great grandparents right down to Jonathan and I. Here we are in Chelmsford in Essex outside the record office. Come with me and see what else we can find on the family tree. While I was there I viewed papers and maps of my great grandfather's and grandfather's dairy farms and sourced further information relating to additional family sites, some of which I never knew about before. A wonder if love is a rose, a beautiful blossom to find. If love is a rose, may come and sit on this sad heart of mine. That was my grandmother Lillian's poem to my grandfather Louis when they were courting in the 1920s. And here's my lovely collage. It was great to have the chance to design my own costume for the Copacabana dance and I felt very thankful to all the Emerge Arts members that performed on stage with me. It was the first time I had ever been on stage before and I was both nervous and excited. Here are some clips from my presentation evening. I hope you're going to enjoy them all. Together they had a son, Roger. Roger is married to Becky. Roger and Becky gave birth to our mother, Catherine, and their son, our Uncle Peter. Family, have you anything to say on this wonderful night? Please keep passing them back for everybody to see. H.G. <laughs> Howard was an architect who designed many of the buildings that we see today in Lee, West Liv and Pitsy area. He worked and lived at Blue House Farm in Pitsy. He was also the founder of Howard Stairies. Julie, who is that? That is great grandmother Rosie. <laughs> now we come to our grandmother Becky. Becky was happily married to Roger for a number of years. And while enjoying a social life of bridge, she was um, a member of the West Liver Operatic Dramatic Society in which she played many leading character roles in plays at the Palace Theatre Westliff. While we were researching the family tree, we found some photographs of our grandmother as an actress. Here is a slideshow of our grandmother as an actress.
art group will perform a medley from A Country Girl. Oh. I chose this one as it tells us of the farming way of life. Appropriate, I thought. doing the project of the Harris of Essex. Everybody that came said it was interesting and they enjoyed hearing about the family, way of life. What did you enjoy most about the process of putting together the presentation? All of it, absolutely all of it. Mm -hmm. What was um, the thing that surprised you the most? about your, um, your family history when you were discovering things? I should think everything we discovered about the family mm -hmm. that I never knew. Mm -hmm. Did you enjoy visiting the places where they had been? And... Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. Julie, how did it feel when you were um, presenting on stage and you saw the audience's reaction to all your hard work? Um, it was the first time I've been on stage and I was a little nervous, yes. Mm -hmm. But once I got out there I was perfectly alright because there's lots of family and friends out there that I knew. Mm -hmm. And everybody did enjoy it. I enjoyed it. And Julie, what did you think about your costume that you designed? Did you like the, the final result? It was result? very, very nice. I enjoyed wearing it. Mm -hmm. Is it something you'd wear again, do you think? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Did you enjoy the preparations for the presentation and the chance to do some baking of your grandma's recipes and things? Yes, especially about the 2,000 jam tarts. <laughs> and what did you enjoy most about the process? Finding out about members of the family I never knew existed. Um, I was always going to do this project with my mother but I never got the chance. How do you feel that your mum um, would have felt if she'd been able to see you on stage doing your presentation? My mother would have been chuffed a bit, she would have been ever so well. How did it feel to visit some places that your your ancestors had been? Alright, it's like they were there watching, you know, watching from heaven up above. And saying mm -hmm. there goes our great granddaughter, our granddaughter, our daughter. So they would have known. Do you think they would have all been proud of you? I think so, in their own way. It's great having something to look forward to do each week, and I get to do such a variety of things with my Emerge program. I'm definitely fitter and I feel healthier. I think I've lost weight from all the walking I have done. Rehearsals and practicing my Copacabana dance. I can't wait to share what I find out about the family on the Lewis side. Until then, thanks for watching.